Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Travax Ascent Wallet, which I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. If you want to see more videos like this one, please give it a thumbs up so we can keep helping you find the right gear. Let's dive in. All right, so the Travax Ascent Wallet is basically an evolution of the Element Wallet, which we've reviewed way back in the day. There are a couple of changes between them, but this is basically the new and updated, improved iteration of that wallet. We have top grain leather on the outside, which is pretty thick, some high quality stuff. This is the Mississippi mud colorway, which I like. It's kind of this dark brown leather. I like that. You can see there's patina that's been developing during the testing phase, which you know only adds to that look and feel of it. There's a stainless steel frame in the middle, and it's got this kind of ridged pattern on the outside. And it feels nice in the hand just to grab. Um, you know, it's not too like sharp or bumpy. Travax has kind of a cool way of, we've got the original right here. Um, the way that they treat their stainless steel is great because it kind of almost feels, you know, it's not sharp on the outside. It feels rounded, very nice to use. And uh, with the Ascent, it's no different. Of course, this is made in the USA, like most Travax products, if not all. Can't say that for sure because I don't, you know, have a, have the entire, uh, you know, product line up in front of me. But I believe they made, they make a lot of their products in the USA, if not all of them. Um, this is also RFID blocking as well. So for those that are looking for that feature, you'll be happy to know that that's an option. Let's talk about some of the exterior features. So we have two rivets down here at the bottom, which are holding the leather into that stainless steel frame and then we've got stitching here on the outside it's a saddle stitch which is great so that holds the leather onto that stainless steel and it's just really it feels like super solid in the hand like some of the times i've got some other wallets here i've got the original uh, like the exter and grip six like with the grip six for example i mean you can see the the size difference but um, this just kind of feels like this metal part. I mean, because it is, it's sort of just like put into this leather sleeve. So you can completely take this part out if you'd like. Um, uh, quite a big price difference between these two wallets. Um, but with the Ascent, it is just all integrated and built in. And it just feels solid. Whereas the Grip 6 feels like a little sloppy in comparison. Um, although, yeah, big price difference between these two, so just note that. And then we also might as well just bring out the whole crew right now that I got over here. So I've got the Grip6 wallet. We have the Dango Dapper a wallet by Exter. Travax Contour, which is one of my favorite Travax wallets. You can see the size difference there between the Contour and the Ascent. And then we have the Travax Original, which actually I like the Travax Original a little bit more. Um, you know, not the biggest fan of this graphic that we have on ours. I like like black a little bit better, kind of like the other wallets we have here. Um, but yeah, they do offer some like graphical treatments in, in the, the original 2.0 as well. So you can see the difference here. I like the original 2.0 a little bit better because it can stay thinner. It adapts a little bit to what you put inside. And it's just simple, you know, aluminum front, stainless steel back. But anyway, we're talking about the Ascent. So let's get back to that. Here's the Dango Dapper. I'm just gonna kind of, you know, Dango Dapper is actually a little bit, you know, less width, a little bit more narrow. Exter is a little bit taller, but a little bit more narrow. Grip six, we showed that already, so you can rewind that, but I'll just do that real quick as I pull them off. Pretty much the same size as the original 2.0 here. And then the contour wallet as well. So back onto the external features. So we've got the saddle stitch, we've got the rivets. We'll talk about this little area here. This is a little hole for like a lanyard or something that you might want to attach. Uh, maybe you want to put on some paracord, just like the original 2.0, so it's easy to pull out of your pocket. I personally don't really like that feature. I wouldn't use this myself, but hey, if you like that, that's, that's good. Travax is debossed here and then made in the USA is debossed here as well. Now let's talk a little bit about the card access. So. I have been testing, as I've been testing this wallet for two weeks, it's broken in a little bit, but not a ton. And I think they're a bit generous with how many cards you can fit inside. 
So on the side, it lists that you can hold four to seven cards or one to five folded bills. In here, it's pretty much completely tight. I have two cards in the front, and then I have four cards in the back, and then I have two bills. And with these six cards inside of this main area, the bills are pretty stuck in there. If I add another card or some more bills, I just have two bills, by the way, so one American dollar, or two, sorry, three bills. So I have three USD and then one Japanese yen, just to show you that height. You know, it does become a little bit harder. Now, that's why I like the original so much better. It's adaptable on the size, and you can really rifle through stuff quickly with this front ID window. Um, and you do have that here. You can look through two cards. But even putting three cards into this front pocket, I, I just didn't really love. So if I do that, now we have a total of six cards in here. And like, you know, <laughs> I mean, that's quite a bit more effort than on the original. Let me just pull this out again. You know, it's way quicker just to, to fan through with that. And with the Ascent, it's a little bit harder. So just note that, I mean, if you really like Trayvax and you want to go leather, this is a great option. But I like the original 2.0 a lot better, and that's one of the reasons why. Now, three in here, that's not that great, but two is totally fine. And two is very, very quick to rifle through. So I can just kind of, you know, quickly switch between one and the other based on what I have above or below. And you can see there's this ribbon on the inside here, and that's what pushes down and pulls up these cards in the back. So you can see how that kind of functions as we go there. Set the cards off to the side. So I just have one, two, three, four cards in this front pot or in this back pocket here. And this is like, uh, you know, it feels like a kind of a nylon ribbon. I don't love the feel of this. Like the rest of the Trayvax wallet, <clears throat> the leather is like thick and chunky and you have this big kind of slab of stainless steel, if I can even use that word. Um, and then you kind of got this ribbon that feels like a step up from like what you'd use to wrap a gift. And that's just one thing I noticed is the feel of this is borderline. Um, like it feels fine, but like compared to the other materials on here, it just doesn't feel quite as good. So just note that. All right. And that basically covers that. So I had four in the back, two in the front, and then, uh, you know, these three bills in the back as well. One of the other thing to notice to bring up on the bills is that when you slide these back there, I want to show you the height of where things are at. So you can really push the USD down to the bottom and that's how that'll look. So it'll be nice and easy for you to get access to this ribbon to pull those additional cards up. But if you do have taller bills like Japanese yen, for example, I'll throw that in here too behind it, just so you can see the difference. It like, just barely clears that. So it's quite a bit closer to this ribbon and it can start to feel a little more crowded with taller bills and other you know, currencies other than US dollars. So there you have it. That is the Trayvax Ascent wallet. Thank you for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we will see you in the next video.